So, series station's really easy in this version because the doors open way ahead of time. Also, you don't have to fight Ridley at all. So, we just wait. And it's actually faster to just wait. Basically, you just like for this, you wanted to jump into this room, so you like land here, and then you want to just ladder grab or ledge grab all the way up. However, so you like run in. Bam. Theater mode for the win. Thanks for being here, Mo. Appreciate it, man. I'm glad that you come into my streams and hang out. It really, I really appreciate it. It's nice having like friends online that like actually give a shit about what you love to do. So it's pretty awesome. So, this opening is exactly like Super Metroid, We're, but we don't have to worry so much about the doors opening, like like making it through the door, bonking a door, because the doors open really fast. Thanks, Mo. I appreciate it, man. That's awesome. You're super chill, too. <clears throat> so, like, doors in this game, the first thing to realize is they open way faster. Um, another thing to take into account is door transitions are a lot quicker. They're literally double speed because that's the patch that was put on it. Doors go double speed, so they open up at double speed and they transition at double speed. So if you're prepping a trick, keep that in mind. Every time you land, you don't, your speed doesn't reset. So you can literally like do this number where you just constantly jump. Also, spin jump restart, that's kind of a given. Yeah, he uh, what he did for the most part in this game is he put slopes on almost all the ceilings, if not all the ceilings. So you don't bonk. You kind of just like slide along the ceiling. Like here's a good example, this slope right here. Jump, you don't bonk, you just slide. Which is pretty nice. So in this version, you just want to fall here. Slightly move to the left and then just fall straight down. Two, three, four, five, six. Same falling room, same climb room. Now, what we would call fast pit room is since you don't have movement loss, you don't have to go like this bullshit anymore. Now, what you do now is you can just, if you time it, you can just. That. What we used to do is just like if you tap the run button, which was way harder. If you just like, I can't even do it now. It you, it looked pretty sick, but it wasn't as fast. But anyway, yeah, just fast room. So it's just like boop boop boop. Fuck. And you sometimes don't mess it up, but whatever. And then obviously elevator grabs. I'm sure you know what those are, Mo. So, and bread. You too. Like, pretty easy shit. All right, so like, we're just gonna go get morph ball. But the strat for this is we don't want to bonk this. We want to jump up like this. And it... here's the important thing: 
you can just like okay you can like get a running start and run at it but what you want to do is you want to like jump wall jump in the middle and then let go of the wall jump so you're like while holding left and you'll land on that every single time no matter what you'll land on that platform if you mid wall jump and all that is is when you're in this little area right here if you're just holding left and then you hit the jump button quickly and let it go and then you got more fall now it's actually faster to jump back up here but like and jump back over like that but if you want to use it that way you can Okay, so this next this next room is kind of neat. So we're just gonna like I'm gonna get rid of these enemies. And wait till these. I'll do that, man. Don't worry about it. I'll highlight it for you. So what we're gonna do is there would have been another block here, but that doesn't respawn. So what we want to do is shoot like right where my foot's at, where this crease is. And then you would go through. You move slightly to the right here aim down and you want to meet with this block right here so you want to fall and press into this and then aim down and go into a ball that will go like this and then you hit B to cancel out of your jump so you're standing so I'll do that again really slowly like that and then you hit B to cancel out <laughs> One more time. Jump in. Down, down. Cancel out. You can also hit up to cancel out too if you don't want to hit the jump. That's really fine. This room is just the same. Mock out. Even though I didn't mock out, but you'd mock out. Jump up. And what I do is I, from this point where I'm standing, I aim up and shoot and then just jump like that. So I'll do that one more time. This whole section. And I always aim down and then shoot that. I wouldn't lock out, but I fucked it up. Jump up here, shoot twice. Oh, man. One more time. Jump up here, shoot twice, and then make sure you kill that guy. You can get out like that. Then just mock. Elevator grab up. Okay. Now, reverse reverse pit room can be hard, but the best way is just right when you come through the dude, uh, the dude. Right when you come through the door, aim up kill this guy and then just start um, like timing your jumps and shots so just literally run off the platform boom and then jump through the door but push towards the wall immediately when you come through Okay, so you'll notice that wall jump height's a lot higher in this game. And that'll change back in the next version. So, like, if you get used to it, then it's going to be changed. What we're going to do is we're going to jump. And you're going to wall jump. And I want you to practice wall jumping. Shoot up and then, like, reset your jump. So it's... That's the that's the motion you want. Jump up, B, reset, reset, all while holding the run button. Because actually, you don't have to hold the run button. And that's what that's gonna look like. And then you'll eventually gain the speed in order to do that. <sighs> So this room is really easy. This is just, the, the parlor room was a lot harder until I came up with a way, a series of wall jumps. 
It's basically just jumping up what you feel is comfortable. Like, wall jump here, wall jump here. So just boop, boop, boop. So you just jump off the middle three platforms on the left side. Wham, wham, wham. Kill these guys. Bam, bam. And then you can ledge grab those four platforms looking up. So, wham, 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 kill those guys, wham, wham, but, or, fuck, my bad. I want to get this in one cycle. Boom, 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 bam. So that's the parlor room. Yeah, I'm going to show you what a backflip is before we get into this next room. So, while holding the run button, you want to duck, and then press jump. And you can hold jump, and it'll send Samus in this, like, anim or damage boost type animation, where she, like, jumps back, and then, like, does a backflip. Now, while holding jump and holding the run button, you want to hold a direction. So, like, hit B. You want to hit... The bat, you want to hit the direction slightly after you hit jump. So, jump, then a direction. The sooner the better, though. Because you can go, like, at the end of your jump, you can move back. But you want to go, like, like that. Now, that move right there is very vital in a run. Um skipping this boss so you have f I think three frames to get this yep you can skip the boss bomb trees are like that and that saves you for like 15 seconds so if you practice that move then just practice that An emulator that should help to get that that down for right now I wouldn't worry about Alcatraz because it's stupid I would just go this way for now because Alcatraz is really dumb with the wall jump height. And since it's going to change anyway, I wouldn't even worry about it. And Mo, if you want me to further explain later, if you want me to explain the wall jumps later since this is the, or the Alcatraz later since this is the version you have, I can do that some other time if you want one on one. But yeah, so this room has a strat that I invented, and it's called, um, Mushroom Jump, or no, what is it, Ma no, that's the other one, I don't even know if I named this one yet, but what you do is, if you're running, you want to jump about right here, when you come through the door, and you want to go up and morph, do like an, an in-air mock ball, like that, but you want to, your foot wants to be like right here when you jump. Like about right here. And when you do that, you're going to get enough momentum and you want to get over the waiver. To where, and when you're in a ball, it's going to boost you forward a few, a few pixels. Oh. And then you're going to skip that guy. So the mushroom stamp. That's what it should be called. I'm, I'm calling it that now. That's called the mushroom stamp. And there's also a mushroom boost. But you'll see that it actually pushes you forward a few frames. Wham. You skip that guy. You hit again. Pushes you forward. You're out the door. Now Linka seems to think that that's not as fast as running. But with the small amount of forward motion you get, I think it is faster. Plus, when you're sitting there shooting down the hill, there's tons of lag going on, like I'll show you. See all those lag frames, dude? That's so, that's so laggish as fuck. That's so bad. Like, if there were less bullets, then sure. If you're shooting less shots per frame. Yeah, fuck, like, check this shit out, though. You're just like, whoop. 
Skip, skip, no lag. Out the door. You don't know shit. And then obviously you can just hold shoot and down on this side. Alright, this is another trick that'll cost you, or no, it'll save you about half a second. Um, this is kind of, actually, this is kind of like a, um, this is kind of like a frame saver thing. It'll save you about a quarter of a second. But I'll show you the normal strat that we used to have for this room. So we'd run through, and we would jump over this, and we would just jump over this, and then through the door. But I'll show you the new strat. Link, Link is really fucking good at this game. Now it never disclose anything he has to say, so. But, I do think that that strat's faster. So that's, that's the uh, mushroom de-boost, or the mushroom boost. So you're gonna come in, he'll always be, when the room is reset, he'll always be on the left side of that mushroom. You wanna jump and de-boost off of him. And since your de-boost motion is faster than your running speed, it'll save you about a quarter of a second. And if you do it perfect, maybe half a second. Okay. This area is just the same as Super Metroid. Mop. Jump up. Do whatever you need to do to get across this room. And then, yeah, Super Missiles. Boop. Fast falling. Okay. Here's the first real route change that this game has. So usually in Super Metroid you'd go this way. And it's whatever, you know. You'd continue the game. Well, in this version, um, we go down. And when I... I'm gonna bomb this block and I'm gonna jump like this. I'm gonna jump up and aim down. And then I'm gonna go into ball again. Hold immediate left and then immediate right to so dodge these uh, these blocks. Like that. So again, I would be bombing, aim, just like that, and then we just keep holding right all the way down. Yep. So for early PBs, we go woo, go all the way down here. Another thing to keep in mind is when you bomb, you know how it gives you recoil? Well, if you bomb and you hold down, you don't go up in the air. So when we get to the bottom, we're holding down, we're gonna hit this, and then we're gonna do that backflip motion. Where we're gonna hold B, down, hold run, hold B, and now what this does is this crumble block in here, that we can tell it's a crumble block. See how my gun is like right here? When you backflip, you clip through that block. Let me fuck this guy up quick. You'll clip through the underside of that block. Yeah, so backflip makes it so you can clip through that. Now, what we wanna do now is once you clip through that, you wanna jump up really fast like this and go into ball form and then hold right. So what we do is we go boop, and that's how we do it. Again, guns right here. Make sure you're all the way against the left wall. See, so you're pressing against the wall, so you can get that clip. Because if you're in the middle, it'll, sometimes it won't work. So clip, jump. It's a really kind of fast motion, but if you practice it, it's really easy. Just wall jump up here, go through, and bam, early power bombs. Go through this, go back down, and now for this route, we're gonna go back out. You wanna throw a power bomb right when you get to that crumble block, and it'll open that door. Go through this way. Get that E tank, get the super missile tank. Now the reason we get this over here is because it's either this or um, the Meridia Supers 
and um, honestly having an extra E tank and the supers being right here is a lot faster than going and getting Meridia supers. And plus it makes it so the crate quick kill is possible and in, a, in a very easy manner. So you don't have to farm. So get your BBs ready. This wall jump right here can be done by jumping up. Now you're looking for this platform. Once you see this platform, you're wall jumping parallel to this platform. You want to jump over and go into a ball. And you'll land right here. But when you're jumping, you want to like that. And then if you notice that when you're holding run and you jump, you'll immediately flip in air. So you want to go... Bomb, jump, jump. It's just very easy when you're holding around and flipping like that. There's no blocks there, so we just go whoop, through the door. Fall straight down from here. Since we have power bombs, this is what we call a uh, fast charge. Throw a power bomb right here, it'll blow all this up. You can just mine down here. And bam, we have charge. For some reason, it's fucking freezing at charge when I charge shit. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why it's freezing like that. But for some reason, it just wants to fucking freeze. I have no fucking clue. But that was like one third of a tutorial, I guess. Let me try fucking using charge. I literally have no clue right now. This has been out of the. Oh my god. This has been out of the console for like three hours or something. <sighs> but yeah, that's the first like fourth of the game. Pooped. Um, but yeah, so... Um, Getting early, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Getting early power bombs not only saves you like a rounded minute having to go up above Brinstar to get power bombs and go all the way back down. That saves you about a minute right there. And about 45 seconds with like crazy movement. Like that's like the optimized time. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> um,. It's a New Year's one. Happy New Year! It's 12.01. Nice. Sick it, Will. Um, happy Poo Year. But yeah, what we do is um, we get power bombs there, and then we go straight to Kraid. And the room behind Kraid that takes you to Speed Booster is a power bomb block. Or not power bomb block it's a power bomb door so you can get early speed booster which makes the run so much faster like a minute and 30 seconds faster there we go all right i'll just play this I'll just play this, uh, what is it? I'll just play this file and show you some more shit. So we were at charge beam, right? Craig is a dick. Actually, you know what? I'll just speedrun the best spot. It just had to sit out of the console for a while. Craig is a dick. Alright, we're on the planet. We can do this. Alright, so I'll play everything that I just explained up to this point. And then we'll keep moving.
Um, it's because of the sound chip. Actually, I, uh, <clears throat> Isakarka explained it to me earlier. It's because something that has to do with, like, the way that mem the game writes memory after you beat the game. Um, it kind of overwrites the sound chip. <clears throat> or, okay, the sound chip and the gaming chip are two separate chips. And when you beat the game... Alright. Uh, when you beat the game, um, the memory writes over some of the sound. That's why having a title screen, like, when Grime tried to program it at the end of the game when it says, see you next mission, and you hit a button, it, um, would take you back to the menu screen or the title screen, but that didn't work because it overwrote all the, like, some of the music. And so, uh, that didn't work, because the game would instantly freeze. And that's kind of what the charge beam is doing. And it's only because he's using a different sound bite for charge beam, so... When the game's trying to register... Oh, wait. I can't... I'm trying to read, like, a numeral 20 of the charge beam, which is the charge beam sound. Crime changed it to a numeral that the game doesn't have, which is, say, it's 22. The game tries to read a 22, because it had to overwrite data. And it's all like, what the fuck is 22? The game only has 20, and then it freezes because it doesn't know what to do. So that's why that happens. But he says once he changes charge beam sound back to the original vanilla, it'll fix the problem, hopefully. So the new version won't have that issue. We hope. is basically the game trying to read something that isn't supposed to be there and it just freezes. The only reason it reads that is because the music chip can't comprehend what's going on. Yep, exactly. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. They, like when you rewrite it, the games the game chip and the music chip are two separate things. And so the game ship's like, reading the new charge sound that just got written over and now I can finally recognize it. Oh wait, yeah, I don't, what is that? I don't think that's a thing. So the game's all like, oh fuck. Uh, and apparently, uh, Isakarka was saying that every time you enter a door, um, there's like part of the bits that recognize a certain mu part of the music in a music chip. So like, every time you enter a door, there's a music bite in the door. And if the music stopped, the game will stop. Because it needs to have music there in order to register that you're entering through a door. So when you charge beam and it glitches like that and there's no music, it can't compute and it just freezes because... There's no music going, there's no music bit, the game doesn't recognize it, you walk through it, and it gets fucky. So, I learned a lot about programming in the past two days talking to Grind and Lisa it's pretty sweet. So every time you enter a door, there's a music chip in it. <laughs> or a music bite. Platform. Throw the thing, spin jump. Oh. Did you take your piss, Ma? Cause I'll wait. Whenever you're ready, Mo, I'll keep going. 
Give me pills, bruh. Wow, I need pills. Alright, well you can go, dude. I'll wait. Just let me know when you get back. We can continue. Okay. Just piss like Lake Superior. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is one of the. I don't mean to scare you, but this is one of the hardest rooms in the game. Because if you mess this up, you can lose some time. This is one of the hardest rooms not having a speed booster. So, given you have the door open and you like shot a super missile, you're running through. This is called ladder mock. The ladder mocking, and we're gonna mock. We're gonna let me kind of show you right here. All right, well, we're gonna like get in a mock ball, and we're gonna jump right. We're gonna jump out of a mock ball because we can do that now, and you can like maintain speed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out of a mock ball and go back into a mock ball. So we're gonna Go whoop, jump back into a mock ball again. As you practice it, like you can eventually get it down to like so you get the concept, you can actually like. It's really tough at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So this, this is called the ladder mock room, or the ladder room, the ladder mocking. So we're going to run, jump, oh, fuck, I already fucked it up, see? <clears throat> run, jump. Mock, 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 charge, shoot a guy, and run through the door. Four mocks in a row, you gotta hit. Again, jump, mock, 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 jump, charge. Oh, but yeah, you want to? I bonked right there. But you get the idea. Mock. Mock. 
If you fail, you can, like, get a running start again. Mock. Mock. Charge. Shoot a guy. Get the fuck out of the room. Anyway. That's basically that. And you're just gonna shoot this guy regularly. Whatever. Charge a beam. Shoot that guy. And get out. Okay, now, in Super Metroid, the vanilla version, these are bomb blocks. Well, in this version, you can shoot them. There's no power bomb blocks there, so that's kind of cool. So we're going to come this way, pre-shoot our door, if you want. And then we just can jump, jump, and then... I get Spazer in Project Base, because it literally makes Fantoon easier, because Fantoon doesn't need to be x factor in this game. In fact, it's slower to x factor him. Okay, so exiting the Spazer room... You'll be standing about like right here. So when you come back, you want to be like, boom, and then run. You want to pull that little mock off there if you can. It's kind of a harder trick, but you jump, mock. But you want to shoot ahead of time. And then you want to fall through the hole. <clears throat> so one more time. Another thing to keep in mind is the CAC attacks, spores. The little spike things they shoot. Those give you drops. So if you're low on drops, you can always farm CAC attacks. And I'll show you the easiest way to farm a CAC attack. Have regular beam on not spazer and just stand right next to one and just keep pressing shoot you'll, you'll shoot all five of their spores at once and then you'll in no time have full shit back easiest way to refill on stuff so if you're ever low on something don't farm with anything but cac attacks because you literally save so much time okay <clears throat> But, um, okay. This is the quick crate entrance, and it has to do a lot with the mock ball jumping strats. Isn't that sweet? It's really fast farming. So, like, you don't have to farm on fish or any bullshit like that, like those five bugs. It's pretty nice. So, what do you want to do when you come into this room is shoot the bottom block out immediately with a super these are super blocks and what I usually do is I usually jump right with right where the uh, elevator is and like if you get a mock ball going you just jump across right at the very last second probably want to jump about right where this end block is so jump mock jump bam you got it or an easy way to do it or it's just Shoot out with a super, go through here, hold a backflip and don't let go, and you'll bonk this top block, and it'll throw you right where you need to go. So, like, just keep holding until you hit the platform. Or you can, like, another way to do it is you can, like, start the backflip right here and bonk this. Same with that side. In fact, that's probably faster. Anyway, like, it's whatever you want to do. But the strat that we do to save the most time is you shoot this out. And you keep going. Yep. Yeah, you can backflip across. It's really easy. And it's a consistent way to get across quickly. Just make sure you hold the run, jump, and over buttons until you land. You just go through this room, you know, yada yada yada. <clears throat> now, crate, the mini crate in this game, 
his spikes give you drops, but mini crate is probably stronger than actual crate because he's kind of a dick. So what you want to do is just like shoot him with four regular missiles and then once with a super missile. Four regular missiles, one super. Four regular, one super. You can just backflip here, shoot the eye door, go through. Eye doors die really quickly, there's no like waiting. Okay, Craig, quick kill. We're always gonna go into ball because it reduces a shit ton of lag, like two and a half seconds. One missile, and then just all of them out with supers. Two right there. One, two, three, four. So what you do is you shoot the one missile in his mouth. Oh yeah, charge beam has the vacuum effect too, which is cool. So what I just did, say Kraid's in front of me, right? I shot one regular missile to get him to open his mouth. And then four, two supers, bam, bam, jumped up, land on the platform, jump, and then four more supers into his mouth. That's the Kraid quick kill for this game. And then we get various suit. Now the reason that getting power bombs really saved us so much time is because of this. We go this way, power bomb door here, go down, and you just go across this way. Right? Go down this way. And here we are at the room with speed booster. And this literally saves us like a minute and a half. Because this is where we were aiming to get anyway. So when we go back, we can just pick up all the shit on our way back. Now we got speed booster. Thing to note about speed booster is you start speed booster way faster um, than a normal in vanilla. Like, like you'll love short charging because it's such a nice breath of fresh air. Yep, so we get speed booster here. We go down, we're gonna get wave beam. And now this this room is really easy because instead of jumping over and like, oh I gotta get that, there's an opening in the bottom, so we're just gonna short charge here. Stand right next to this thing. You can be pressing against it. Like if you're against this thing, you won't bonk it. It's a really good marker to show you where to shine spark so you just r and then jump and you'll end up right in front of the door that's called the stunt spark <laughs> that's what we used to call it i don't know if you want to call it that now but because we used to just kind of like try to shine spark across and i was just like wait this is way easier and then right here when you're coming back, you want to shine or speed boost. And right where th the mountain kind of creases right here, you see it go up a slope, and then right here, and then it slopes up again. And that, like right here is where you want to shine spark straight up. So you want to get a running start. Right here. Takes you up to the door. And then, like, obviously, you can figure out your own strats for these smaller rooms, because they're not that big. Actually, we don't need to go this way. We have power bombs, so we just go, boop, at the top of that, go down, and then to the left. Yeah, those elevator platforms are really stupid. Alright, so this next room, we just run across. This is kind of a cool thing. Grime did this intentionally. So what we want to do is get our power or super missiles ready. We want to shine spark or set a charge like that. That's what you want to do. Then you get the E tank, and then you kill that enemy right there. So again, get your supers ready. Shoot, and then go straight left. And then that'll automatically kill that. Then you open the door and just go grab this missile through there. Shoot the door before getting hijacked. What I do for this room, 
coming up here. After this is I have my power bombs on. And when I jump through this door, I throw a power bomb right here and then I jump up. You'll see why. Jump. Power bomb. Gets that out of the way and then bam, right here. Now here's one of the hardest short charges in Project Base. We want to short charge through this door and land it right here. And then we want to jump to the middle of the room, like here, and shine spark up in between these two platforms. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to do a stagger step. See, that's even, that's even too short. Okay. Fuck, I didn't hit down. Quarter down. Yep, so that's that strat. Every platform in here is speed uh, speed blockable, except for the exterior walls. But a, a good place to look and gauge where your shine spark is going to be is this exact spot right here. The very edge of this platform is where you want to spark up. And you'll end up bonking this block right, right here. And that's where you want to be. You want to bonk, bonk this one. And then it'll put you right here and then you super through. So I'll show you again one last time. Yep. Bonk through the door. And then again, we're going to do like when you jump in the air, the, the, when you hit up, when you're. Um, I got it. Okay, there's a speed booster strat I got to explain. It's called. Um, it's like keeping your speed boost momentum. You can like keep a charge going when you're running. There's squatting and then running, but there's also like keeping momentum. We call it, it's like called charge momentum. So it's just like speed boosting. And then while you're, instead of squatting with like the down button, you want to squat with forward down and then hold forward. So it's like, you see that now I was running with like, started keeping momentum and I can like jump around with this now and that'll keep going until I actually bonk the side of a platform vertically or horizontally I'm sorry so I can keep this going for as long as I want if I jump in air and I hit up it'll set it'll set a boost so I'm gonna do this strat and then I want to hit the run button like just like Super Metroid, and I'm gonna hit a direction. And if you hit, if you hit an angle, you'll just go straight up. Like I'm hitting R, which is angle up, and it's just sending me straight like that. So you want to hit up in any direction. So what I do is I go through, and I like momentum here, and I jump through the door, and I shoot hit up and then over and if I were to do it right I would open the door before I got there that little trick right there makes it so ocean flies and thing and all that shit I don't use ice because ice is useless but you want to get ice first because we don't ever come back to this area again So you, you see what I'm doing. Here, yeah, so we're gonna do the same exact thing I showed you earlier with the speed booster, but we're gonna get our momentum and just jump across these rooms like this. Then you're gonna squat at this block I'm standing standing on. 
Yep, you want to get early ice because the thing is with the route change in Project Base, we never come back to that area. But this is the block we're looking for right here. The one that I'm standing above this kind of like medium sized one. If you spark here going up, you'll never miss. So, like, right here. And just hold left. And you'll always end up on this platform. So, boop. You shoot up. You can preemptively shoot those things. Alright, so another thing. You can get a short charge here. At this very crease I'm on right now in between these two blocks, I just fucked it up. <clears throat> it's like this little divot where this, this block starts and this block ends. Right here is where you want to spark up. And this takes you... Up here. Now this is the hardest shine spark in the game. Easily. Because what you want to do is you want to get, get a shore charge going, jump the gap, and go through this door. It's pretty fucking tough. And you can skip the hell away like that. And then you want to shoot this door, run back here, get another short charge going, stand against this wall and shoot straight up. That takes you to the elevator. So those are two pretty cool shine spark strats you can do. Power bomb. Power bomb. Go up like this, like so. Power bomb. Whistle that guy. Whistle that guy. So Ocean Fly works the same way. It's just a lot easier because you, these aren't platforms. These are now slopes. So what you can do is you can get a running start. Run through the room like this. Shoot. Then press up and then over. Also, if you want, if you want to just get across the lake fast, you can just time a backflip. It's they're pretty sweet, dude. They're pretty awesome. And once you get them down, you'll feel like a badass because you save a lot of time. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to get a short charge going. Do the angle down so we keep a momentum spark. Jump, shoot, and then over. So when you do it correctly, it's gonna look like this. And we get ocean fly. Just takes practice. Let me go all the way across. Boop. And then we were going. Now we're at wreck ship. Now, Fantoon is drastically different. <clears throat> drastically different. And another thing to keep in mind is you can go get these super missiles now. So if you want to have an easier Fantoon fight, you can do that. Go through. And come down here, short charge, mock that. Right. Right, okay, so. This Fantoon fight is so much easier than vanilla. Because the second he opens his eye, the second you shoot him, he won't ever give you any slow or fast pattern again. It's just always he'll open his eye immediately. You can also stun lock him with missiles. If you shoot him with a super, he'll do two really fast motions. Shoot him on the left side, shoot him on the right side. You can match his patterns to get drops like that. Easy drops, easy fan tool. Simple as fuck. You get a charge going out of this room. Go. 
bomb buff with the power bomb go into bomb form. Shoot here. That makes that whole area explode. I'll just go up. And a thing to keep in mind about the attic is the doors aren't locked to, uh, based on enemies. So you just go. Okay, so <clears throat> this is this is probably one of the hardest strats in the game. It used to be called bowling alley missile strat, but now we call it the AO. Just AO. The reason it's called the AO is because every time I pull it off in a run, I was like, AO! Like, and just Eddie and I would go crazy. So we call it the AO now. So to do AO, <laughs> to do AO, you want to get a spark going here and you want to angle down in that um, charge. Let's start a squat. So you want to have a missile equipped down come through and that's how you do the AO it's a very precise missile shot I wish I could show it off more but you can only do it like once I wish my fucking game saver would yeah would be a little bit more of a pal but anyway like that's how you do it and if you need me to do like a separate video based on the AO, I can do that. But that's quite the strat. And so we're just gonna go speed boost through this door. We're gonna automatically land here and jump, jump. Ah, oh, fuck. We'll jump through it and land it there. Then we would have shot ahead of time. We're gonna jump and shoot at the same time. Go through that door. And then at this point, the route changes a little bit. We wanna go back to our ship, but you wanna shoot this door over here. And go down. And we wanna refill it our ship. <laughs> no, it's okay, dude. I, I mean I don't expect you to be, but I figured I would point out the hardest strats just because. And I can I can probably make separate videos based on it. So the reason we went back to our ship to refill on shit is so because we're skipping bot wound. We want enough ammo for um, Dragon. We don't want to farm, and farming shit takes way longer than just running to your ship for like 20 seconds. Not even that. Probably like 10 seconds. So now we have everything full. Oh, dude, no problem. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and then put it on YouTube so everyone can watch it. Okay, so we're going to... Um, a big thing to keep in mind is now that we have everything we need, which should be three energy tanks, 20 missiles, 15 super missiles, and five power bombs. Let me finish up this beer. New Dragon simple in this game. Right, so we come through. I'm gonna go through here because he removed the green gate. So now we can get in the back of Meridia, which saves a lot of time. There's a trick here. And it, um, we call it the Ridial. <laughs> and like, you wanna come through. Or Meridia Mach Ball, or whatever we want to call it, but we just call it Meridia Mach. And go through the door here and do a short jump into Mach Ball there, but obviously it didn't get it. So Meridia Mach's kind of tough, but if you can nail that move, it saves you like maybe a second. I want to pull it off because it looks fucking good. It's like, it's the hardest Mach Ball in the game, too. It only saves you a second. Oh, dude, it's so close. You literally have this much room to hit the mock, too. Fucking All right. All 
There we go. That's Meridian Mach. So we want to kill this guy with a super. And then we want to get another short charge going here in this room. Shoot through this door and then midair spark over to this door. That saves you a shit ton of time. Let me just go down. Through the door. You don't have to throw a power bomb here. But we do want to get these missiles. Grab these. Grab this. Okay. Now the important thing is we don't have to fight bot wounds. So we're going to go through this door. We're going to do a nice timed short charge. Jump through this this top pit right here. So we're gonna go. And then just keep holding forward. You should spark all the way to the door. Let's try that again. Now before we get to the door, we're gonna we're gonna chain the full halfy into this. So we're gonna go jump shoot the door S squat wall jump midair over it's one of the more difficult chains in the game but when you get it it's pretty awesome and he made full halfy so all you have to do is just shine spark through the door and then got it. You don't have to jump up or anything. But I want to do that trick one more time for comprehension. Also, the energy tank that was right there is in the bot wound room now. So 100% you're required, or 104% you're required to beat bot wound. Alright, so we try it again. Jump up through. Shoot the door. Squat. Jump, 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 jump. Go through the door. Equip supers. Go through this door. Obviously jump down. And shoot the eye door of the super and go through. Now we want two supers on the right side. Kill this. Kill this. Five regulars on this side. One, two, one, two, three. Now, Dragon's weird. We want to start with regular supers. You can kind of tell by the music cue when he's going to come out. That's when you want to start firing. And then get a power bomb ready. And when he starts throwing goo, and you can hear it. Power bomb. Start shooting regular missiles. Oh, fuck. I'll show you in a better way in one second. I won't shoot him until he does it again. You kind of want to trail behind him. And shoot power, or uh, supers and regulars into his stomach. Like this. That's Dragon. You just aim up and walk right with him and just do 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 do. He should die instantly. That's how you one cycle Dragon. Backflip through the door if you want to. That's the Dragon Strike for this game. It's actually faster than Speed Booster and all that stuff. Okay, so what I was what I was saying about um like when you can keep your speed booster momentum by pressing down and over like this, to have like a blue suitish effect where you can keep it for as long as you want until you hit like see a bonked. But like, you want to get this. You can see how how I bonked the edge of a platform and it stopped. Yeah, that's my strat for Manila. Even though it's slower because I have to farm, that's what I do. But yeah, if you bonk a vertical platform, it literally stops. But this is what we do. We get the momentum going and we don't bonk. We just go through here. Go through this door. Squat, jump up, up, and then over. I've been doing that lately, I don't know why. Okay. 
get the you get the gist, so we're gonna go. Boop. Up over. That's reverse full halfy. That can save us a lot of time. Pull it off. Let's jump to this room. And this this is pretty self-explanatory, this shit right here. Just get through this room as fast as you can. There's one little route change here that saves you some time. You can actually go through the ceiling of this room. And if you're quick about it, you can keep your momentum. Go up to plasma. Now you can get a plasma spark here if you're good enough at short charging. And right when you hit the ceiling, this is when we turn ice on. We're gonna have ice on for the rest of the game now. Kill that guy as we go down. Now here's my strat for the plasma room. We're gonna run over, get a charge, and kill this guy. Jump up, spark over, and kill that guy, and that charge will kill that guy. Get a charge ready. Kill that guy, and then just... And that's how that goes. Okay, here's the second harder short charge in the game. Second or third. We need to go through this little area. You don't have to short charge. You can just bomb this out and go down. But it's a lot faster when you just go like that. And I want you to like, when you run and you jump out here, you notice how you like go straight when you just tap the opposite direction. That's the motion you want. You wanna go like this. So get a short charge and tap so you like stop moving. And you'll go straight down. We're gonna go through this, then aim down, shoot the door, and then press over. So we keep our momentum. And then do this whole thing. Jump midair spark you wanna go through. And you can do a squat there. And go down here and you can like spark over to the left but I have these but yeah it's just little time savers like that that make this run so crazy so we're just gonna go to Ridley now and Ridley's section is really easy it's really fast so we just go through this door one strat for the Ridley is do this Start a short charge here, squat, kill that guy, go up through here, jump out of mock and then over right. Then you can actually power bomb. Those are just bomb blocks, but you can power bomb those. And we go through the Ridley exit. You can frame perfect shot these guys so you don't take damage. We're gonna go down and through this. <clears throat> and that takes us to this area. Aim down, just jump over and go through the door. This takes us to the glowing room. Now if you need anything, these guys, their fireballs drop drops. So if you're like needing a power bomb or a super missile, you can always shoot those. Go down. Now we're gonna frame perfect shot these guys again. Get through. Throw a power bomb in this crease right here. And bam. Power bomb. That's only if you have more than two power bombs. Boom. Now what I do is I get a shine or a short charge going here. I usually get a short charge here in this one. Okay, go. Double K go there too. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, so this is one of the harder, like, shoot jumps. This kind of works like how the ocean fly does. You're gonna get a running start here. You're gonna jump through the door. We're gonna shoot, wait, 
and then like that. So you bonk right there, but if you get through the top of the door, you can actually get all the way to the eye door. That's just like another move you gotta practice. And bam, right, Ridley. Same as same as vanilla, it's only 20 shots. And since you can jump in air, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. 21 or 22 shots? I don't know. Usually it's 20, but that was weird. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's Ridley. Now we're pretty much fucking done. We just go through here, get our fourth and final energy tank. Let me go up. Up through here. Here's the charge room. Now we know it's our right screw attack. We don't need that, so we just go up. You can get a short charge here too, you get through these rooms. And then you can pull that trick off if you can if you can. If you wanna get past this, just backflip. Then we're gonna go up through the entrance of um uh, lower north here. Alright, now here's a strat coming up here. This is the fastest way to get back to the top of North Air and the Bring Star. We go through the sideway, right? Now, I was working on the strat earlier. This strat sucks balls. It's probably the hardest strat in the game. We go through, and you want to get a short charge going right here. Go through, hit this. Get your super missiles ready. Jump straight up. Cancel, start your charge. It, oh, fuck. It's so tough. Get us. Oh, fuck you, dude. You want to be charging your beam when you go through the door. That's you all the way back up here. That's the hardest strat in the game. Or one of the hardest strats. And then we're just going to go this way. Now, tube clip, this is another strat. If you stand completely still, you can just... You see how I'm like clipping through? Just stand here. You can just clip through. The shot doesn't matter. As long as you just vertical spark while you're standing still. You know, short charge here. Go straight up. And then you want to short charge against this wall, or shine up against this wall right here. So, it takes you to that door. Come up through. It's called fish, fish jump. Shoot that guy. Again, I'll do it again. You want to jump through. Shoot this guy here. Jump off him. And get up to that top platform. We call that fish jump. <laughs> and then basically, you can do that strat if you want, but just getting up to the elevator. Now we're going to Golden Four. 
we are almost there. The easy, all the hardships over. The rest of the game is like smooth sailing. This is probably one of the hardest string of shit, though. So we're gonna jump through. This is called swag rooms. We fly against the ceiling, and you wanna see how it landed right on here. This is kind of where the ceiling slope helps. You want to follow this slope, and when you're going at full speed, you're going to end up right here. And this is where you need to mock ball to go through there. So, again, if I'm going... Sorry, I'm dead. start this trick right here so we're gonna go through not jump yet jump here like that you know shoot the door then space jump across the top shoot the door there and now you're here you want to just shoot. Oh, shit. And then go into ball because that just decreases any lag you would have. <sighs> Torian's pretty self explanatory, but I'll just go over some like I mean I can't like re show you tricks, so I'll just show you what you need to do. Basically, it's just shooting Metroids in air with ice and then shooting them with a super in air and not stopping momentum. So it's all about practice. Like, if you have a game saver, dude, once you get your card, this is the place to use it. Oh, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll higher light it right after I'm done. So go through. Okay, so this is the thing that makes this so hard. Speed is not what you want. You don't want speed in this room. See, like, you get caught like this. You can just get all three Metroids. And just freeze on the boot. Also practicing, like... Nice. Also practicing like shooting and then resetting your shot is another thing. You know. That's the motion you want in this room. Except in between that you gotta like select supers. So this room you wanna go ball, go down the corner. That's easy. And this is the room where you want to like slow the hell down. So, do a few jumps so you don't go too fast. Aim down when you come through this room. Shoot down. Use that guy. Bam. And if you can get this D boost, that's sick as fuck too. The Turian D boost is sick. Alright, for this, the baby skip in this game is simple as fuck. All you want to do is do a horizontal spark through this door. And then aim down and left and just start shooting. And then just jump through the door. That's baby skip. Bam. You're set. The rest of the game is fucking... You know, autopilot. Although Zeb skip in this game is slightly different. But if you like get hit and then just like hold left and do a quick jump while holding run, you'll do a spin. And then you can just jump through. That's something you just gotta figure out. And just boop, 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 boop. Also going to uh, more fall here saves leg frames, <laughs> and then just charge your heart away. One, 
charge shots is all it takes it's a lot easier to tell when he's going to do catch up beam in this game because the game will pre-lag unlike super metroid which is boom and it's out and then it lags the game will actually slow down and then he'll shoot it so it's super easy to tell when she's going to shoot it so it's really easy to dodge and as long as you're standing on the ground it's just one simple jump up You'll notice that the mother brain fight goes like a billion times faster, which is really nice. So we're just gonna sit here and watch this shit go down. have more if you want here's the easy way to kill mother brain so literally all you have to do is angle up and hold shoot but you want to stand close because you can get faster hits wham 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 just holding angle up and shoot my other question is are four tanks mandatory for any percent uh world record has four tanks but you can have more if you want you can get the one before Ridley if you choose. You also, you can shine spark through that door if you get the timing right. But, um, no, you can do more energy tanks if you want, man. But, like, for world record, it's 40 tanks. Here's, here's one of the weirder, kind of the, probably most timed out. Right. Squat here and then fall. It's like right on the edge, and then jump to the right immediately. You spark up, and you'll go all the way back with this column. You save a lot of time. And then to behemoth spark, you want to be right on this platform, and then angle up. Yeah. And then you can just use the same wall jump strats for the other Parlor. Fuck the animals. And there, they're done. You could drop it to three. You could drop it to three, but like. It's just way easier. And you're not going out of your way for energy tanks. Like, the first energy tank you get is right in the beginning. The second energy tank you get is right after early power bombs, which is where you get the super missiles. So that's like one second it takes to get that one. 30 tank is. Where's the 30 tank? I forget what 30 tank is. Well, like, you don't need four, but like, four are completely on the way. The 30 tank is... Where is that? Because you have two when you go... I'm trying to think right now. I think you have two when you beat Fan 2. Right? 
this game. You can opener, the Terminator tank. Oh, yeah. You get the Terminator tank, which is right in the beginning. And then you get the high jump tank. Right, that's two. And then the third one is the one you get right after early PBs. And then the fourth one is just on the way out to... Yeah, last one's after Ripley. So yeah, so they're like all on the way, so you might as well get it, because it's just going to make the run easier on you. 